Well, welcome back to Van Sea Fishing. Click and subscribe. How about this, Gordon, eh? We're on your coast, where we're at the southern end of England. And I've got a pretty empty beach, which is good. But yeah, I'm at Budley Salterton. I've got the two Kenzakis and my sniper Kenzaki. And we're going for fish today. Now, you're better off catching fish at night time. But we can't do night time because it's rained tonight and it's been raining loads and this is the only good day left in our holiday. Thursday, Friday is rain, but... What an absolute stunning place, eh? Hard to walk on the shingle, but I'll bring you back. Because we're gonna cut for the intro. Tide's coming in now. It is a 4.3 3 meter tide, I believe. I'm not 100% certain, but it's around that mark. I don't know what that means, whether that's a big tide, small tide, or whatever. But that's what we're fishing today. Today's the only day, like I say. Looks very angry out there. Very angry. Looks like rain. So it could get rain here. I've got my beach shelter, but it's in the van because it don't say it's going to rain. So fingers crossed it don't. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ring the wife and ask her to bring it. Ugh. Look at that, there's a stone there. Well, I'll show you that later when I can pick it up. People seem to write on stones here and uh, leave them on the beach just anywhere. Whereas at Lake District, at Silecroft, they paint on stones and that. I guess for people that have died. And they uh, leave them all on the stairs so you can see them all. But here is one here. I'll get it up and have a look at it and then I'll put it back respectively. Perhaps it was just people that were here on that day. Um, should have said to Mrs. Bring My Shelter, but I'll keep an eye on that rough weather that's over there. Look, can you see that? I'll keep an eye on that. Right, we've got a two up flapper out on a five ounce weight. I don't know how big of the weights you've got to use there, but if I can get away with five ounce because it's very calm, that's what I'm going to use. If if they move around a bit, I'll stick a six ounce on. Shouldn't move around. It's a bit of a cove here. Over there, you can see those rocks. I did see that on Google Earth. All them rocks there. I think there's people that fish there for bullas and stuff like that. But you can see there with the rocks, there's like two two tides all. Not two tides, but two currents hitting those rocks there. They're coming from both sides. And it's very rough and squally there. Probably good for bass, probably good for a hound, probably quite snaggy as well. So I'm fishing here. Um, you'll see some people fishing down just at the foot of those cliffs that are down there. Um, you see muddy puddle fishers somewhere along there. Um, but I looked at the parking. I don't know if you have to pay for parking now. I think you do until November. But um, down there, it's two hours parking and you can't return for an hour. So that's a no-no for me. But right behind me here, where you see that crane and those two people, there's a huge car park. So I've parked in there 
it's seven pound for four hours or eight pound that's better start thinking about the sunburn or eight pound all day there's a woman down there with the dogs in the water i'm sure she comes there all the time but the dog that's closest to the water just got washed out with the waves um you need to be a bit careful this is a steep shingle beach as you can see and the swash of the water going back out i guess is quite strong that's a labrador and that took that out but he's still on the bank he's still all right i've got a couple of things to talk to you about and to tell you and uh hopefully we'll have no swimmers because i'm not used to swimmers i come from an area in the country where you just fish and you don't see anyone the beaches that i pick so that's going to change slightly because my hip is uh not good it's been all right walking on this gravel but i know by the time i finish this session it's going to be hard work i'm going to put a six ounce weight on the other one because my five ounce has gone to the left so i could go down here and cast but then i've got all this gravel tide will be in soon and it'll obviously come up to that second bit so it'll gain me 10 yards or eight it'll be a lot deeper and uh, hopefully i'll catch some fish so but yeah this is budley salterton and the date is the 25th of october and it's 12 25 high tides at about quarter past three half past three you saw me in the last video at brixham breakwater and i blanked so hopefully i won't blank today i'm feeling a little bit anxious and uh if that's the right word or nervous not that i want to catch because i'll soon be catching um on the river but it's just i don't know why i think it's probably because it's my first beach session on a southern beach and i don't know what it's going to be like with people that just go down and sit there um and get in your way that's why i've come up this end i don't know so yeah i'm a little bit nervous but I, as as it goes on it'll get better won't it the waves are picking up a bit look that's because the tide is coming in and it's hitting the beach as the tide comes up it'll calm down a bit but out there it's flat calm but there must be a bit of tide run for all that over there look so anyhow i forgot my bucket i've uh, rung the wife said to her can you bring the bucket when you fancy a walk over and i didn't say don't leave it too late but hopefully she won't be too long and i'm going to keep an eye on that bad weather over there hopefully that bad weather is going to stay over there and uh, i won't need the shelter because it'd just be nice to do a beach session here and then go um and hopefully catch a fish two boys over there with footballs i'm not used to this it's like a culture culture change for me yeah they're coming this way and all kids and footballs eh don't you just love them see you in a bit right now i've got to go down this slope because if i chuck this sniper rod out it ain't gonna go very far so Muddy, I asked you what this slope was like and you said it's not a problem. You're obviously not as old and as crippled as me, mate. Because that is far too much for me at this time in my life. In the year or so's time, it'll be a different matter. But probably my next hit will start hurting. Never mind. Right, here we go. Where's that line to Sarah? Well, there you have it. Now we've got to get up there. I think that pulls the drag out. He's on its lowest setting. Oh, doing these footsteps I've already made. Oh. 
Yeah. Need this as a walking stick. Ah, that's good. Brilliant. Oh, you're back. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do it. That's ridiculous. It's just gonna. Uh, yeah. There you go. Well, Paul, it's not good, mate. I'll tell you. I'm up. I'm up. Cast it out. Got a seven ounce weight chucked out on that sniper rod. Brilliant. I do love them reels. So we've got two rods out at the minute. We've got one cast over there. Sniper rod just down there. Holding bottom it is because it's seven ounce weight. And we've got one to go out but i'm waiting for a squid to defrost and the crab so that's going to have a squid crab bait on that so we're fishing with the pen spin fisher 6500 live liner and i think that reel is that good i kid you not i think it's that good yesterday i bought a second from uh, tackle uk 114 pound they're selling them for 114 pound they used to be 140 50 um, i think you can get them from 130 to 143 now but they're selling them at 114 they've only got four left so if you want one go get one i'm not sponsored i just think it's a cracking reel and that's gonna they're gonna become my river reels so my pen spin fish is 7500 long cast what a gobful is gonna become my beach rod reels for fixville um, so they're gonna take a little bit of a back seat for a while and have a rest but yeah they are brilliant you put that live liner on or bait runner um, fantastic it is it's got four settings and uh, it pulled out line as it went tight so brilliant struggled getting up that slope look at this slope I don't know whether you get a gist of that if I go to the side you can see it but yeah, I don't think I'll be going down there too much. I think the sniper rod will just have to be in quite a shallow bit of water. We shall stick that up a bit just to try and get it up. Don't really make much difference. You'll move it two foot this end, your rod, and down there it might move three inch. So, so it's two rods out. I'm gonna let them defrost. Once they're defrosted, um, I shall bait up a cocktail bait, squid and crab, and we'll uh, off the ground that out there. I don't see me getting very far today, but we're here at Budley Salterton. Um, it's not a beach that I've thought to myself, oh, I want to fish Budley Salterton. Not at all, but it looks a nice beach there's plenty of fish caught mainly down near them cliffs i think i think there's been some fish i've seen a video on there ted green he fishes budley Salton a lot go check him out um used to be called devon something but he's changed it now to his name it's just ted green fishing or something like that i put ted green and he come up but he fishes this beach mostly in the early hours or at night time because of this a case of a lot of people here but it is school holidays um i can't come any other time and it, again like i say if it weren't for jimmy saying to me you can have uh, our chalet um static caravan thing absolutely lovely it is all carpeted heating um heating flipping heck what's that um it's been absolutely fantastic if it weren't for jimmy Thank you very much, Jimmy. It means the world and uh, means a lot, anyway. So, um, yeah, I won't be here otherwise. 
So it's quite nice actually fishing some of these beaches. I was going to fish this one and Slapton Sands, but this is the last fishing um, session in Devon today because it's the better weather. Tomorrow is rain, Friday's rain, and then Friday, Saturday here, and all the way up to Chesil, it's 30 odd mile an hour winds. It's gonna be terrible. So I might try and do some mackerel fishing because I've never done that. I've got my mackerel rod out. I'll have to use that reel, which is a bit big, but I'll still use it. And if there's a sort of like gap in the weather, I shall uh, do a spot of mackerel fishing. Probably none there, but I have 10 or 12 casts. I'm bored after that. See what we get. Be nice to catch a garfish. It would. I haven't seen no dinosaurs yet though. Apparently it's the dinosaur coast, but then so is the oldness coast. I haven't seen any dinosaurs on there. Mind you, there's a few dinosaurs on it. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> uh. Yeah, anyhow, I'll bring you back. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is nice. I just hope the weather hold out. I really do. It'd just be nice to get a session where I've got no kid. The footballing kids are gone. Uh, that's sat on the bench now, I think. No, they aren't. That's other kids. Uh, they're gone anyhow. Hopefully it'll be all right. I didn't really want to walk any further down that way because I guess it gets shallower there. I would say it's probably deeper down near the red cliffs. But I can't walk down this thing. Well, I can. You saw me walk up it. But I can't take the camera. I'd have to use my fishing rod as a walking stick. So anyhow, we'll fish air. I'll cast from up the top here. And whatever I catch, I catch. I'm not betting on catching. Um, glass half full like, John. But um, some people talking about Devon and they say, walk anywhere along the coastal path, pick your fishing spot. Do it at night time and you'll catch. So that might be the case, but there is color in this water today. Yesterday, there was color to about 40 yards because we came here yesterday to check it out. It's color to about 40 yards. Today, there's color out for bloody hundreds of yards. So hopefully I've got a chance. We've got ragworm, squid, frozen crab, black lug, um, and that's it. So, uh, plenty of bait. See you in a bit. I think I've got a bug. I've got a bite. I've got a fish on already. But I was then going to cast that rod. I might have a bite on that one and all. Oh, I don't have it be a bedlam day. One fish will be enough for Vern. Do you know what, I'm just going to cast this rod out, put it on the thing, because if there's a fish on the hook, it's on the hook, isn't it? Oh, 
Right, the rod bag for on the stones for off the ground works a treat. Never thought of that. Carry that with me all the time, don't I? Left a bloody clicker on. That's because I had a bite on that rod and it just threw me with my Norfolk head. I just didn't understand where I was. All excited, all at a tiver. But what do you do? What do you do at 10 to 2? Is it 10 to 2? Let's have a look. It's 12.55. That clicker still work. I better get on to Black Dog and order a couple more bloody clickers, aren't I? Well, let's get four, eh? So this rod, has it moved anymore? Oh, I don't know, because I ain't been watching it ever. Let's bring it in, let's bring it in, see what happened. Could be crabs, couldn't it? They could have stripped my bait. It's been out now for, what? 30 minutes so so we'll bring that in now and rebate and hopefully you never know we might have a fish the water is coming in a bit now so and the wife ain't come with a bloody bucket as she bloody typical in it no wonder she got the sack so much as a young person get that quicker off I think there might be some weed on this. Feels heavy. Woody, it's heavy, mate. Well, I don't believe it. We caught ourselves a fish. My first dogfish of the year. Absolutely fantastic. Let me get my prize. Sorry, I just unhooked it. That's why I've got hold of it like that. I don't mean to. Look at that little puppy. First dogfish. First dogfish of the year. I can't believe it. Now I've got to try and put him back. Unbelievable. Is that filming? Right, pet, you got it then. Look at that. He's camera shy, but yeah, my first dog fish of the year. So I'll take the camera down because if I fall down these stones, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't think of this much. This is why, this is why I said, is, what's this beach like? Bloody terrible for someone with a bad hip. But. Got ourselves a dogfish. Um, saw the bite. Well, that don't matter, does it? Right, let's get eaten back. Right. 
Well, he weren't in that one, was he? They tend to swim back up on the beach. But he's not there. Yeah, he's gone, and he? Well, I'm... Thank you very much, Mr. Dogfish, Catfish. Gummy, whatever, whatever you call them, it's a dogfish. And uh, I'm pleased to catch it, it's first one of the year. And he's gone back. As you can see, the water's nice and coloured. Now I've got to try and walk up here again, haven't I? She's now going to throw the bucket. You can't get it, I'll get it. I need some water. She brought the bucket. Chuck it, pet, will you? It's a good throw, that, for the wife. She's there. Wave to the camera down. That's my beautiful wife. What, million, what, million miles for one of her smiles, I would. She felt a bit of sick coming then. Well, I don't know how many times I'd be able to fish a beach like this anymore. I think it's going to be flat, sandy, firm beaches from now on. Or at the river. When I go back, before anyone says out, when I go back... I'm getting an appointment to get me hips looked at. And I'm paying the 200 quid to speed the process up. So the up. Oh, shut up. What are you doing? Let me just get it up to you. You got wellies on. You could have got this. Here you are, take that. Muppet. I'll tell you what, darling, I'll be shattered tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Well, there she is, look. God. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Girl juice, girl juice. <laughs> oh, no, that's the other end, isn't it? <laughs> now. Huh. Well, at least I don't sound like I need a cardiac arrest or anything going up there. Out of breath a little bit. So that's good, at least I'm not out of condition. Got a puffer, got an inhaler. Blanks are gone. I've caught on holiday. This is the first time in two years, over two years, I've caught whilst I'm on holiday fishing. And I've caught a species that I ain't caught this year. So I'm chuffed to bits about it. I don't want too many of them. Because Pet, you might have to return some of them. I can't do that. It's going to be a short fishing session then. Oh, Jesus. Right, that's brilliant. We're off the mark. We're at Budley on Budley Salterton. Salterton, isn't it? Yeah, Budley Salterton, and we're off the mark. So it's bloody great. Look at this scenery. That bad weather looked as though it was uh, going to be here for good, but it's gone. So, yeah, here we are. Look at them beautiful clouds and the blue and... You've heard it before. You can still see all that rough water over them rocks. That'll be a good place to fish for bass or, or bullass, I reckon. That's where you need to go fishing. If you're able-bodied and you ain't got a buggered hip, 
get down there and fish, I reckon. See you in a bit. You'll not see me for a minute, but you can bloody hear me, can't you? I'm going to get me rod, cast this out. <coughs> First dog fish that pet this year. <coughs> Some people would say, well, it's a bloody dogfish, but you know, I, I quite like catching them. Did you have one last year? Make sure I ain't gonna slip. Right, so we'll uh, swap this around now. We'll move. Oh, I've got another bite, I've got another bite. Got another bite, bloody hell. We got one on the sniper rod. Oh, this is gonna be bedlam, innit, pet? Do you know what I mean? Who wants to catch like this? I oh, know, but I'm about buggered, Anna. It's heavy. Saw the bite as well. Now it's too hot down, isn't it? Well, what have I got here? It's <coughs> another dogfish. Sorry, mate, but you're going to have to be pulled up because. Doing it gently though, mate, aren't I? <coughs> Do it nice and gently. <coughs> We've got ourselves another doggy. Got my pliers on me as well. <coughs> get my glasses on. Got to get my four eyes on. <coughs> Well, this is getting a catching session, isn't it? But what we got here? We've got a little dogfish. See his eyes down? I don't mind putting them back because I've got gloves. But I'm not um, touching them on my hands. Well, it's just like sandpaper, this. I don't care. Whoa, got a dogfish. I'll take it back, though. Perhaps you can take it back when I can't. Yeah? <laughs> Useless, isn't she? Hey. Right. Yeah, thanks for that last bit, Pet. Next to bloody useless comes to mind, is what you are. Your cooking's, in, your cooking's improved. Oh, well, I just about tired of meeting the tire from cooking as well. The wife did the other night. Fantastic meal. We had chicken Kiev. 
chips and beans. She couldn't go wrong, could you, Dan? Cut her, cut her an inch of its life. It was perfect, absolutely perfect. The butter was oozing out, and it was nice and soft. What are you cooked? Oh, shush a minute. <laughs> Oh, got, I ain't got the energy to talk to you. Rest for a minute, oh yeah, I, I have. Yeah, I can't take you on board. <laughs> What's all that floating out there, down? Oh what? It's a stick in it. Well, oh shit! Now I've got to cast that out again. Yeah. Well, sniper rod has done its business. Sue's the big rod. How long I fish free rods? I don't know. If I catch lots of dogfish, I shan't fish free rods because <laughs> the idea of the sniper rod is to get rid of that blank, isn't it, down? And it's uh, it's happened. <coughs> the snipe has got rid of the blank, and so has the Kenzaki. <coughs> now somebody asked what the sniper rod was, and I told him it was an uptide rod. I apologise, I forgot your name, but so much go on in my head. It's like a scrambled egg mass of everything going on, being beaten round. So I forget things. So, and it's not that I'm thick. It's just that I forget things. And it's not that I've got anything wrong with me like that yet. Like dementia, is it, Pet? No. Um, I'll drop you at the top of the road when you... And I'm not ting-tong either. I'll tell you that for now. <laughs> am I, Dan? I'm not ting-tong, am I? No. No, I'm no, just... No, I don't know, though. You might be. I'm not eccentric. <laughs> unusual. Well, I might be unusual. Does that mean I'm ting-tong? Bit weird. We drove here to Budley Salterton and on the sat nav it kept coming up ting tong ting tong there's all waves down there I reckon there's some mackerel in you should have brought my mackerel rod go fetch it go on that and take two minutes then you you go down there and fish from I ain't fishing from all right anyhow we drove through and we keep seeing this ting tong I said that can't be the first Chinese place to ever be set up in Devon and that got named because you get in the roads named for things don't you pet ting tong anyhow the wife googled Ting Tong and it means eccentric, wacky unusual. and unusual. Well, that's going to be a new word you hear me say a lot because anybody that comes past me, like uh, Dopey on Galston Pier, who was uh, on his scooter, he's going to be Ting Tong. Ex eccentric. In that dive right now. Yeah. British language is, English language is absolutely fantastic. It's a, it's a slang in, from Thailand. Is it? Yeah. Well, what's it being used there for I then? Don't know. Oh, it'll be from the colonial days, won't it? When they come back. Never mind, it's there in the dictionary. Right. In my opinion, I just wanted to mention that. <laughs> Look at that. It doesn't have to be in your opinion. That is what it means. Yeah, it is what it means. You're right down. I sang someone unusual, weird or eccentric. Yeah, sod a lot of them, eh? <coughs> Bloody wokey do-gooders. And on that point, remember to click and subscribe to this channel, tr channel, yeah? And, uh, went a bit ting-tong then. <laughs> remember to click and subscribe to this channel because if you click and subscribe, you will turn <laughs> someone from woke to a normal person. It just like that it just happens they don't know when it's gonna hit them you press that button they could be walking along the road like this and then all of a sudden they're flat on the floor and they wake up like a normal person unbelievable I might turn into a woke person so you have to live with one you I'll divorce you really yeah I'm gonna be woke <laughs> I'm still right if I don't know I don't think you're too laid back you're too laid back <laughs> to be woke. It's too much to go on about with this boiling and stuff, isn't it? Right, we're casting from up here.
don't know what you got of that. I ain't got any right hand gloves. And you got left hands. Because I was coming. Oh, I might have one in my bag. I'll check my bag. Because the wife being this nice kind person that she is has uh, offered to take my fish back for me. But, you know, don't make you feel much of a man, does it? Hey, Don. It's all right. And you haven't felt much of a man for a long while, are you? <laughs> You can cook not, I'm not on about that. I'm on about as in me, in a bell. Yeah, sure. You can. Uh, you can cook Been a long while since you was Kevin. <laughs> right. A couple of little fishing boots out there. Oh, got my raincoat. Well, I'm just two fish caught, two dogfish. Um, I'm not fussed. I don't know that I've got any gobs in there, Don. Oh, oh got me green out. Well, I need to put some gloves in there, don't I? Silly mistake, that. I've got wool hats and everything. Don, if, if I can't do it, keep doing it. You know, I will keep doing it for as long as I can. But once I start looking too much like Quasimodo, I'll yeah. I'll just kick you down there. Well, I can get down all right, it's just getting up. Will you nip to the van and get a right-handed glove? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Oh. Just all through my photos, because it said your, photo, your memory's getting full. Yeah. And I must have a million photos of Duke. <laughs> have you? Can you put that on that metal bit down there? On the frame? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keeps <coughs> that all from blowing away. Right, so, here we are. It's got to have us both in shot, hasn't it? Hey, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, you bugger. It's crap getting old, I tell you. What's the matter with that? That's loose on the thing. Bloody thing. Right. Do you reckon that's got us both? <coughs> I'd say so, wouldn't you? Right, so what do you want to say to the girls, pet? <coughs> it's your last chance for this year. We could die on the way home. So now's the time. If I die on the way home, girls, it's your dad's fault. Right. Well, I've caught now. I'm, I'm happy to go home. So you're quite happy that this, you're going to be your fault if I die? No, way. we ain't going to die, are we? But <laughs> if we were to die, what would you say to the girls now? Uh, live life to the full. Yeah. And don't worry about money and things. Just no, enjoy it. that's it. Never argue about money because it never brings no, you No, don't argue about money. And if you want to do something and you're not being allowed to do it, tell them you want to do it. Isn't that right, Dan? Stop Nothing's going to stop them from doing anything, are they? Because they'll just put up with it for so long and then they'll just say, Rrr! Oh, I've got an itchy hand. I don't know if I've told you before, but I've got this lump on my hand and it's due to the fact that my oh my DNA God. comes back for that I'm a Viking. It's, in not, the... it's because you're a pleb. Yeah, and it is. My doctor told me. I stabbed myself and it, it formed this lump under my skin and he said that's renowned in Scandinavian countries. <laughs> where there's Vikings. So at once upon a time, because I come from Norfolk, you know, we were, uh, we were, uh, you know, somewhere down the line, you know, one of my relatives might have been uh, partaked in a bit of uh, pillaging and rape, pillaging and raping, and uh, out comes a Viking, me. And I got this lump and it started to itch today. I don't know why, but yeah. So yeah, another little thing into, are you a Viking, Don? You do look good in them PVC boots. Well, rubber Don rubber Dunlop wellies. Tom's bought a pair of them. Has he? Yeah, cost eleven pounds. <coughs> I think they were eleven pounds. <coughs> Mine cost seven. That's how old they are. Got to be twelve, fifteen years old them boots. Yeah, if you were, uh, here's a review for you. I've had them boots for over fifteen years. 
cost me seven quid and they're still good and no leaks or anything so if you want a pair of cheap wellies they're about 14 15 quid now i think get dunlop yeah but it is staying out there darling you see it is well i don't know but it is staying out there so tomorrow tomorrow on our holidays we're nipping into Tinmouth and we're going to have a Devon, what is it, Devon scone? Cream tea. Cream tea. She don't like tea. No, well I can have coffee with her. She can have coffee. Thank you. We might even have an afternoon tea. No. Cool, you just saw pound signs no. then, didn't you? No, more, <laughs> did, 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 no did. more than 20 quid. <coughs> I don't mind going to 20 quid. <coughs> but. Well, pre afternoon tea isn't that much. Not unless you're going to buy me wine with it. And How I, much tea? I haven't you? had a drink before. We ain't been to the pub yet either. It's been shut one night, and every night it has absolutely chucked it down. And I've been on the sofa and I've been like, ah, well, sod it. Got oh, and has it? Little one. Has well, it really? Yeah, look, it's now gone again. Oh, Jesus. I haven't had a glass of wine. I've got before. another bite. <laughs> What happened? I'm not used to this, you see. I'm used to going to a fishing mark and having a good sit down. And at the minute, I'm up and down like a bloody yo-yo. See, I'm in that good a mood. I can't talk about McDonald's now. <coughs> I was going to have a right rant. What about McDonald's? Wow. Well, what, what's the matter now? Everything. Maybe. You don't you don't drive through it, do you? I don't need Nightmare. To. Do you Nightmare. Do you well, it might be a dogfish day today. Yeah, I've got a bite on that rod. <coughs> we'll see if it really goes down. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone again and again. Let me get it on you. The battery's going to go out in a minute. I'm going to have to change battery. Can you see that biting on the sniper rod? It's not going now. It is. There it goes. All right, I've got to change this battery because I'm going to run out of battery. See you in a minute. Just clean this lens after I've turned it on. After I've turned it, well, before I turn it on. Right, let's see what we got on this bugger. <coughs> it doesn't feel heavy. Nothing on it, but you know what the bonus is with that? I ain't got to go down there to return it. What should I do with that bait? In the next few minutes, it's a worm, it's going to fly off. Them. Right. I'm going to sort this bait out and then what I'll do is I'll be straight back. I ain't got a battery on that bag, have I? I took it off, didn't I? Nothing on there, is there? So do I want a pair of gloves? You work down? Do I need a pair of gloves? I've got some left hands. <coughs> Good car, I'm happy with that. It's the best cast I've done on this today. Well, I'm chuffed to bits, really am. You have to excuse the banter with me and the wife. We've been together nearly 30 years now. Uh, is it, yeah, 29 years we've been married. And I'm afraid to say we are what we are. And uh, that's why we're still married, because we're honest with one another. If she thinks I'm a twat, she'll tell me, which is 
not that often nowadays but when I was younger definitely but you like that when you're young you tend to calm down a bit don't you but yeah we've been together a long time and it's been a good marriage produced some offspring and uh, yeah just do a bit of fishing now until I'm put in my wooden box I've done my job on life haven't I I've created two two more souls on this planet to have fun enjoy life and hopefully they will too so yeah that's a bit morbid isn't it <laughs> anyhow the wife's gone to get a pair of gloves just in case I can't get back up there um, I'll keep going down and return the fish must be quite a stormy beach at times because it's pushed this gravel right up it's uh, I couldn't fish Chesil Beach I've just come here to this this is nothing compared to the nap but the nap is bigger stones but it's still slippery um, even steeper than this so I don't think I could fish the nap now and I don't know well I'm fishing it I'm fishing it so um, I can fish this beach how long for I don't know hopefully I'll get me up done before then but yeah we're at Budley Salterton uh, I know I've mentioned that but I just thought I'd say it again and uh, caught two dogfish and I'm chuffed to bits right chuffed so it's not been a blank on holiday it's nice when you catch a fish um, whether it's a dogfish or what don't matter I'd like to catch garfish but I don't think I've got small enough hooks on I've got size ones on I'm sure if one was out there and took my bait it would hook it um, I don't know if there's any black bream here I don't, I don't know I don't know what you catch off here I've been told there's still some hounds but I was told to go to bee sands for that well he mentioned there's still hounds being caught off Devon and then the next breath he said try bee sands but I'm just happy to catch anything and that nervousness now is um, has gone this beach is empty up there I'm chuffed to bits now if it was a weekend it might be different but here look I'll try just go you can see that way can't you you can see that way nothing down there there's nothing down there either look I've had people come and sit probably 40 50 yards away there's two more now coming dad with his son I think um, as soon as they come sit down a few minutes later they're gone it's not like they're um, setting out the stall to have a party all day and there's nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with that it's just that I'm not used to it you know the beaches I fish I make sure they're empty I don't pay them to go not go there it's just that I pick the beaches that are hard to get to but for how long I can do that I don't know it's gonna to come to an end it's gonna get worse before it gets better I'll tell you that just nice to have a sun out the Sun ain't fully out it's burning through the clouds but um, it's lovely and warm anyhow Put you on them rods. Can you see that, Gordon? It's in enough of my ugly mug, I know. Right, I'll do that. There you go, and see the sea and everything. Well, it's very pleasant being there. A couple of fishing boots out there, only small little boots. 
probably 20 foot, 25 foot boats. If that, they might only be 20. Probably should bring get Karen to bring the beach shelter, but I don't want her. I don't want her to carry it. But I don't think it's going to rain. But you know what it's like, don't you? Sod's law. It'll start to rain. If we had the shelter, we could get everything in and feel it up. I had another bite on that sniper rod then that I just reeled in. The bottom hook looked a bit mashed, the bait, but nothing on it. So at least I didn't have to return it. That's the main thing. The other Kenzaki, the big rod on the right, that's got a flapper rig on. And the one on the left is the squid and crab cocktail. Nothing on that yet. That's that a bit further. Casting up here is a lot easier because it's flat. Um, but I am losing 25, 30 yards. But you just have to accept that. You know, if I was a fit young man, I'd be down there every two seconds cast no but I can't I think the word being wise is as you get older it just means that you realize what you can do and what you can't I think that's part of being wise as you get older but yeah I'll bring you back in a bit it's really nice. I hope you like seeing the rods and the scenery there. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm loving it. Um, I need to wind my sniper rod in because it's slack on the beach. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, I don't think I should have said what I said earlier because it's gone quiet now and now I'm getting bored. But I have recovered from walking up and down the slope. So what I'll say to the, the man in the sea, Neptune, or whoever's the gaffer in the sea. I don't know who it is. It's probably my wife for all I know. She seems to be the gaffer everywhere. Is uh, She's having her dinner, look. Munchkin on the... Uh, well, she's not a munchkin. Well, she might be. But she's munching on hummus and carrot sticks. But, um, yeah, I'll have a quick word with him. Because a fish every 20 minutes would be good. Not one every five or ten, <laughs> but it's not a blank. We've caught two dogfish. Like I say, it's gone a bit quiet. I've had nothing on the crab and squid, and I was told crab is king. Over there, where them rocks are, on that side of it, this goes round two points, and I wonder whether the tide hits each other, because in that section all the way out, it's all rough and that. Uh, we've still got colour in the water. Not colour like what you get on the Holderness coast, but it's definitely murky. So, yeah, bring on a few more dogfish. I would love to catch a garfish. I have got a spinning rod in my van, but I'm not going back to get it. Can't be asked. Because, because I'm a hip. Not that I'm a lazy git. Over, you know, not that I'm a lazy git. It's just that I... Uh, don't feel like I can ask the wife to go get it for me because she's fed up going back to the van she's got her gloves though she's going to help me out but I've had a sit down now so I can make it down there again to return a fish but like I say it's gone quiet what 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 do I do isn't it rubbish eh you, uh, you're only as good and only as happy as your last fish you caught aren't you But the next one I reel in will be that crab and squid. 
and then I'll do another crab and send it out. And um, before I go on, I might buy some crabs, but yeah. I had a bit of a debate about that in the tackle shop because apparently crabs are one pound each. But if you buy frozen crabs, five in a bag, it's six pound for a bag of five crabs. So I got back to the van and I thought, I ain't having this. Why did I pay 17 quid when I should have paid 15? And I went back and asked the question again, can you just explain it to me? Like, cause I'm from Norfolk, just out of a bog. And he then explained it. And I thought, right, well, if that's the case, it's an extra pound for frozen. So obviously to keep their freezer going into it for electric. Now I can understand that, but I ain't happy about it. But the bloke offered me the two quid back. And I said, no, I don't want the two quid. If that's what it is, that's what it is. I just thought I'd be robbed. And I weren't robbed. But that's where you should buy fresh crab then. I don't really want fresh crab because then I got to, don't want to peel it all off while they're alive. Ain't right, is it? In my opinion, it ain't right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back to that tackle shop and I'm going to say, can I have a look at them first? Because I don't want to be palmed off with all the little tiny ones. I want to actually have some where I can get two baits out. And if he says you can have a pick or he picks out a mixture, then I'm going to buy some live crab, take them home to where we're stopping, chuck them in the freezer ready for when we get home. So I've got some crab at home. Right, my little sniper rod is going. Getting a few families walking past now. My lines go right down to the water's edge. So if people walk that past them, I'm gonna have to sort of like, let them know that my line's there and they need to be a bit careful. Sniper rod just went, could be a wave. We'll see. Line is still taut. Bring it back if I catch anything. Are you enjoying them? Right, well, my line has got gravel washed over it. It's the first time I've ever had that happen. Because this beach is rather steep and gravelly.
Well, that's why I didn't know I had a bite, was it? Got ourselves a dogfish. Well, oh, that hurt coming up there, I'll tell you. I was, I was virtually running up there. Well, I saw the bite. Let me get down there. I saw the bite. I saw the bite. But um, my line was under all the gravel. So yeah, another dogfish. That's free now. Um, beautiful eyes on them. Look, absolutely cracking eyes. But yeah, does that look bigger like that? <laughs> Yeah, so that's recording. We'll get this back. No wife. I'm not taking the camera with me because I'll struggle. But hopefully you'll see that. Muddy Puddle said it went hard work. I've actually run up there with the fish stone. <laughs> yeah, well, running for me. And my, hip, <laughs> my hip went, my hip went into spasm. And I was like, ooh. Well, that was good. Right, so what happened there was, I've got to cast that out. I need to sit down now. What happened there was my line got buried because I'm casting from up here. Um, my line got buried in the gravel and I had to go down to try and ravel it. Um, otherwise, it would have pulled through the stones, marked the line and damaged it. Um, and it could have possibly snapped off, which wouldn't have been good because then I left the fish out there when it hooked up. So I went down there, lifted the line up, and the line went right out to where I casted, which is quite far. And yeah, dogfish. So I had to go down there to unravel my line, rather than keep reeling in and then possibly losing your line, and then losing the fish, leaving it stranded. So I'll chuck that out, and then what I'll do is I shall um, bait up the reel the right hand rodding because it's got worms on and uh, reel that in 
see what I've got. I don't think I've got anything on the big rods. I really would love to catch a garfish or a black bream. Um, but it's... I don't know. It looks like rain over there now, Don. Well, even if you go back to the van, you, I can gear a tinkle and you can... I can manage all this because I can put my rods onto the shelter and carry it all. But it's just that slope there, look. So yeah, that's what's just happened. But that's the third dogfish, so I'm chuffed to bits. Um, yeah, caught two, didn't I? And I was like, oh, that's enough of them. Not as in that's enough of them because they're dogfish. It's just enough of me going up down that slope. And then I started whittling that I ain't caught nothing, but I saw two knocks on that rod. So even though it had gone over the shingle, unless after the knocks, the shingle went on it with the tide. But that's what you get at Chesil Beach, I believe. And it's the same sort of beach. You know, it's not as big as a sloop as what you see at Chesil Beach, but it's the same sort of thing. Same principles, anyway. Right, I'm going to get this baited up and then you'll uh, see me rip, chuck it out and then reel one in. There you go. You what? Yeah, I've just started using these bait runners and uh, just chuck it out and hit that switch at the back and the drag set automatically so it's all and then as soon as you reel in it comes off so be perfect for the river where I fish. So uh, I ordered another one yesterday. Right, we'll get this flapper rig in on the big rod. Nothing on there, Dom. Left out too long. Nothing on the hooks. How bad am I, eh? Right, I'm going to get this baited up with some ragworm. Um, that log is coming past, Pet. Look. That ain't the same one, it took ages to get there, but that's possibly, uh, well, I'll probably end up reeling it in when I could catch a log. Right, I'll bring you back after I baited this up, we'll chuck it out. It's only a, a red thump on that one. It's the middle distance rod. Right, let's get this cast today. Bait it up. Clicker off. We need that clicker off, don't we?
Let go too late. Yeah. There you go. So, feeling a bit knackered now and tired. I sort of like slowed down a bit, stop yapping so much. You might not think it. Whilst well, reading a book, it's overcast now. The sun has totally behind the clouds. When we first got here, it was really nice. Um, it's now it's not cold, is it? <coughs> we have got two pairs of knickers on, though, haven't we? You might have. Yeah. <coughs> There's a log down there. It's, it was probably about 50 yards further on. It's took all this time I've been fishing to get down to air. So the only problem with that is it's going in front of my lines. But if I catch it, I'll be able to reel it in one uh, eventually and pull it up on the beach out of the way and then it won't be in my way. So, two on the sniper rod and one on the big rod. I've just reeled that big rod in, nothing on the bait. How oh, bad of me. That's not fishing, is it? That's amateurish, which is what I am, really. Oh, I've got another bite. I might put that <coughs> sniper rod away. It seems to be catching all the time. Look at that. Let's get it on there. Because I'm getting knackered. <laughs> what is the time in here? Well, it's half past two. Yeah, I've got a bite on that. Can you see that wiggle in there on the old sniper? Literally just chucked it out three or four minutes ago. That's a fish. Right, let's get that reeled in. There's nothing on it. Could be a bream, couldn't it, Pet? Could be something small. No. At least I ain't got to go down again to return it. No, at least I ain't got to go down. How can that, a fish, take the bait off the hook like that, pointing at it? How clever are they? Hey? Both worms gone. I kid you not, both worms are gone. Maybe I need to get... Maybe I need to get a uh, smaller hook on. I might think about it. In fact, I'm going to pet. Hang on, I'm just going to get a smaller rig. I've got a smaller rig with size 4 hooks on. Uh, bait holder, and I'm going to put them on. Because then I might actually catch... Somewhat really tiny, mightn't it? Right, I'm going to cast this out. I put a two up flapper on it with size four hooks. Um, just waiting for the locals just to walk past. They did walk round the lines before when they saw them, but they hadn't seen me trying to cast yet, so they're gone now, so I can cast out. Brilliant cast. Yeah, I've got size four hooks on there, so I've actually changed some. So I had size one hooks on before, and uh, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I had size one hooks on before. Oh, what? That branch is uh, right stopped in front of my, I hope that ain't on my line. I think it is. <coughs> it's not moving at all now, it'll be on my line, Dom. 
Right, so at the minute I'm having to, uh, I've got a wife that's reading a book and I'm talking to myself and she's just not answering. And uh, if anyone know what that's like, that's bloody annoying. But she's reading a book, so you can't take it away from her. She's reading a book. But she can't concentrate on more than one thing. And that's the problem. Women can't multitask. Henry, what are you looking at? You keep nosing that book. Old seagulls floating by. Got a big red, blue and yellow boot out there now. I don't know what all that's about. It looks like a hippie boot. Look, I'll show you. There you go. <coughs> I'm sure you can't see that, but out there somewhere is a blue and red, blue and yellow hippie boot. Right, so what I've done is, I've reeled the size one rig in and uh, I had a huge bite on that constantly. And what they did was, they took the bait off the first hook and then they went to the next hook and took the worm off that. Now they're very clever, these fish. I don't know what sort of fish that was, but obviously one with a small mouth. Um, unbelievable. So I've reeled that in and I've chucked out size four flatbait rig. So hopefully, we might get a different species, you never know. I would say if that was a dogfish, that would have uh, got hooked on them because they all have up to now. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it, pet? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Look good. <coughs> Still got COVID? Yeah. The cough, the dreaded cough. You're right if the cough went as quickly as COVID went. But... So, sit rep, free dogfish. Chuff with that. I've had two good bites that have been had nothing on, but the baits have been mangled and stripped. So there's fish out there. And we're now, oh, I've got a bite on the big rod. Oh, I've got a bite on the big rod. <coughs> oh my Lord. Look at that. That's a fish. Now do I leave it? Now it's the bloody log. I've caught the log. I told you, didn't I? What do I say? Yeah, I'll put you here because I think I'm going to be going down there and I might lose my bloody line. I'm going to hold the rod tip down. Because that's definitely on that log. I bloody knew it. I said to you, dinner. not See, she's not talking to me because she's reading that bloody book. See? Making out she's talking to me now. I've got a fish pet. Do you know what? Keeping that down low, keeping that down low got me over that bloody log. Sorry, Mr. Dogfish, but I can't walk down there, mate. Got ourselves dogfish. Let me get him unhooked and I'll bring you back. There we go, he's got a bit of blood on him. It was only in his bottom lip. Here we have it, one more dogfish. That's four now. So I'll get him returned. That blood will clot once he's in the water because I've seen it on flounders.
close to well, I didn't want to slip down. So, uh, that water just went up, I've just slipped back down. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe I can fly. Bloody wish you could. Thank you, though. Oh, she's good to me, she is. She only does it because it makes her laugh. Giggles all night. Right, well, the log's past what the third rod will be. So now we've just got the sniper rod. So when that log gets close to that, I'll have to bring a sniper rod in. Probably chuck it over there then. Um, don't get caught on that. So uh, I might bring that rod in and cast flap rig over there. That's what I'm gonna do. Then I can chuck the sniper rod to the left of the log. And then as soon as the tide go out, it'll go back, won't it? And then I'll have to do it all again. Anyhow, it's four dogfish. I'm beginning to think, don't get me wrong, I ain't fed up catching dogfish. I ain't got a problem. But I'm beginning to think, I don't know how much longer I can keep going up and down there. I'm gonna keep going. But um, hopefully I'll cast out and I won't have anything for a few minutes so I can have a rest. That's what the plan is. So I'll see you in a minute. Right. I've now got size six mustard match hooks on. They are size six. Them other hooks were like a slightly large size four. That's all I can put it down to. I do like them. They're short shanked, you see. So because they're short shanked, they're good for getting out of flounder. Now I'm gonna cast this to the right more to miss that log. The log ain't really moved much. I'm gonna cast over there. You wonder what I'm doing? I'm keeping the rod tip high so that with all the slack line, it's not laying on the floor and getting pebbles washed over it. Got a young puppy retriever down there. He's having a whale of a time. <laughs> oh dear, well, I'm afraid to say I need to reel in my combo bait, but I uh, need to sit down. And I've got hooks on the floor. I've got a rig hanging up, which I'm gonna leave there. Might put another weight on that, but I'm gonna try these size six hooks now because there's gotta be something out there with a small mouth pet and they're taking them. I can't believe that with the bites that that had biting on that rod, which you saw, I hope, um, it's just stripped the bait off. So uh, that's why we're gone with the size six mustard. You gotta try and these things, no point keep sending the same rig out. Yeah, change the hook size. Could be a crab, couldn't it? If it is a crab, and I don't catch on these hooks with a big bite, then obviously it's uh, crabs. So I'll stick a bigger hook out, I'll stick the size fours out again after a couple of casts with the size six and um yeah go back onto that see it has calmed down it's because it's coming up to high water down it's not got the steepness of the beach oh dear so i've got some rigs to sort out a bit of housekeeping to do and um yeah Look above them cliffs, pet, there, over there. All that white cloud. Mm. It'd be nice if the sun come out again, wouldn't it? It's a cracking day, though, isn't it? To say what the weather's going to be like for the rest of the week, isn't it? You said it was going to be cloudy, was I can Let's hope that the squid and crab that's been out a long while... I mean, I can't fish properly anymore. I have to fish and sit down. Um, 
but it's still great being here doing that so uh, I'll still do a video still keep you happy on a Wednesday you know keep me happy by subscribing because the days of when I did it so that when I was in a wooden box there was still some footage of me for my kids has now turned into the fact of you like to be a little bit successful don't you and getting a few subscribers is uh, showing that you're doing something right I know I don't do it right at all because of the way I do YouTube but that's me and uh, that's that's what it is I can't be uh, doing anything different so yeah click that old subscribe button because uh, I thought I'd be at 5,000 by Christmas uh, it's not looking like it is it done if you don't like it then it's tough isn't it because this is what it is this is all you're gonna get and I'm quite happy doing it like this I mean if I chopped it down to 20 minute videos I might get more views might get more subscribers and then tell Tom to or ask Tom to uh, edit it so it's just fish cast fish 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 cast goodbye see you later right now that was either that bloody seagull but he's still flowing along or i just had a bite on that rod that's the flapper rig again so yeah it could do that kind of but i don't do it because this is a <coughs> video of my day on this beach with old cough air sat beside me reading a book ignorant i say I could leave all them ragworm on the beach there because that seagull down there keeps looking at me. He'll come down there and polish them off, won't he? But I'm going to chuck them in the water when I've finished. As a matter of fact, I'll probably chuck them in that bucket of water and then chuck them in the sea so they get a bit of a drink. Well, I've just had a knock on that rod, that left-hand rod. Now, that could mean the bait's gone, isn't it? Sit rep on the log, it's still sat there, but it's going out. It's going out now. Anyway, I'm turning this off, I'm going to have a sandwich, because I'm hungry. Well, I don't think I'm hungry, I just think I ought to eat. You're always hungry, bloody hungry. Well, I ain't hungry, perhaps I've got worms. Well, I haven't ever. I'm not dragging my ass along the carpet, <laughs> am I? In front of the telly, am I? So I ain't got worms ever. That's a nice image, isn't it? Yeah, see? And that's with two wags, and only one of them works. But I don't do that, so I ain't got them. The only worms I've got is in my bait bag. Anyhow, on that note, I'm off. <coughs> Are you coughing again? How's that foot going? On your I am concentrating down, but you're not talking to me. I you're meant to keep to me talk. company. I don't want to talk to you. I've Why? Been, we've been married 29 years, together for God knows how long. 29 I, and a half. I don't need 29 to. 29 and a half. I know. 29 gonna and a half. I Say know it. Gonna come out of your mouth Another six months. You can't knock back. six months off. What do you mean you know what's coming out of my mouth before I open it? See, now, that's the thing, you see. When we had kids, when the kids left home, we didn't know if we'd be able to talk to one another because we didn't know what we'd talk about. But we do all right, don't we? I read. <laughs> she don't read that much. That's only her second book in the last three years. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it is. <coughs> what are you coughing for? Oh, aren't you going to boil your head? On that note, I'm going to go and boil my head. It's all good on there. I've got two rods going now. Shall I bring a little one in? I'll bring a little one in first. It might have that fish on that's been stripping my bait, mightn't it? Little rod's going and so's the big rod, so. Right. Well, it's definitely going that way, isn't it? Oh, it's heavy, darling, it's heavy. Bloody heads heavy, you know. <coughs> God, that's any small looks. Bloody hell. 
Bloody hell! Might have a six pound cod on there. Another dogfish. He's a pretty one. It's like a leopard. Pretty dumb. So was it dogfish nicking me bait? Will you sit still? Well, that hook's bent, pet. That's bent me up. Right, another dogfish. This is dogfish number five. I'm going to put this in the bucket, bait up and send it out, and then reel the other rod in. So he's going to be in my bucket getting a breather. There he is. He's happy, isn't he? Right, I'm going to try and straighten this hook because it is. Oh, I've got this rod's going. Gonna have to reel it in, pet enough. Let's get you on it. Right. This has been nodding and all. Flap a rig again. Best rig in the world. It's heavy down. I think I've got something on there, Pet. I hope it's something different. Guess what it is, Pet? Is it a Yeah. I'm pulling out really gently up the slope. So he's like bouncing gently. Brilliant. Another dogfish. We're going to put that in the bucket. They might be brother and sister, mightn't they? In DNA, they are. They are brother and sister in DNA, aren't they, Dom? Right. I'll get these baited up. How many is that now, Dom? That's six. I think that's six. I mean, I'm not even bothered if you're fed up watching how many dogfish I've got. Stay in the bucket, bugger. Keep an eye on them dogfish, don't we? Right, I'm going to get these baited up. 
and then I'll chuck them out and take the fish back. So see you in a bit. Right, let's get this chucked out, the bait it up. I've straightened the hook out. I only want to catch something small. I'd love to catch a bream or a garfish. But you must have to catch that different way. That's went miles, that did. It's amazing, the more you cast. That log's in there, no? Yeah, now it's gone. The log has gone out probably 80 yards, 90 yards. Right. It's only a flapper, Ridley. Really. Um, I'm going to probably cast this straight out because the log has gone. So, we'll take the wife's head off. Um, and then I'll swap the rod things over. Just a small chuck. Nothing major. It's, uh, to bring that rod in, I'll tell you. Right. Let's get these fish put back. We'll show you the bucket. They're in there, there's two of them. They're calmed down now. Might be girl and boyfriend now, might they? So here we go. And the rod's going again. Yeah, look. Stuart Line Cruisers. Must be from Exmouth. Well, I kid you. Shit. It's the wrong rod again. Just watch these. I'm doing my tidying up in a minute. Well, I thought it was me. Rod with a crab on. That's why. I need to get this out and stink a debt hole. No, that's not it. You know where my debt hole thing is, don't you? No, it's here. Great.
Just got nicked by the dogfish on my arm a little bit. Um, but my mate, Andrew Jones, said to me years ago, if you get scratched by a dogfish, stick some Dettol on it straight away, and then it won't get infected and itch like crazy the next day. So I've just, I've got some uh, little bottles that I put Dettol in and I've just got it out of my bag because I've got a little pharmacy in my bag and uh, I've just put it on the scuff on my arm so hopefully it'll all be all right Rod's ain't moving now Don where's that log gone? it's all the way over there oh yeah thank god for that right I'll bring it back in a bit you can see how lovely it is there. It hadn't been anything but this all day, apart from the bit of sun we had, didn't we, Pet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're still reading a book, look. You can see that. This isn't straight, is it? If I straighten that bit up, that's it. So, flies above her head, but you know what the... What's, did that just go back then? Yeah, flipping it. Tighten that up. That's meant to go back. Right, anyhow, I'm off. You don't want to see this face, you want to see this, Rods. Boom! Oh, I'm back. Oh, you startled me. So, really, I'm only fishing two rods, and that's the sniper and the other Ken Zach with the flapper. The other one, I ain't had a bite on. I'm going to reel it in shortly, but I can honestly say that on these pebbles, it's taken it out of me and fishing I've got a bite oh shit <laughs> I can honestly say that um I said I said to Karen that as soon as I catch on the sniper rod, rod I'm putting it away but I keep catching on it all the time uh I'm catching on the flapper rig on the Kenzaki the crab and squid bait nothing yet there could be something on there but it's not moving that might not be a fish that might be something attacking my bait mightn't it the water's come right in now it's right down on the top just below the top the bottom ridge um and it's really quite deep as well so you are fishing into a good bit of water i would say night time there'll be even more dogfish and i'll possibly say there'll be other species as well which would be nice yeah, I've got a bite on the little rod, but it could be stripping my hooks, couldn't it? So size six hooks on, I'm really hoping for a bream or something. I don't know if you can catch bream. I could be saying I'm looking forward to a bream and uh, there ain't none there. But yeah, that's just gone again. See it go. And again, and again. And again. So there's got to be a fish on that, ain't there? Because I've reeled these in twice now and there's been nothing on it. Isn't that right, Pat? <coughs> How's that cough? Fine. That uh, cough's fine. I guess I better reel it in. See what's on it. I'm sorry if I don't sound uh, enthusiastic. Nothing to do with the fact of catching dogfish, it's the fact. It's the fact of going down there, but there, like Karen says, that'd be the wife, pet. Uh, she says that I'd be mooning anyhow, because I moon all the time. If I had Kylie Minogue beside me, I'd be moaning and I ain't got my wife. If you had Kylie Minogue beside me, you wouldn't know what to do with her. It, you're right there. <laughs> uh, if I had Kylie Minogue beside me, pet, I wouldn't be able to do anything, <laughs> apart from stare. <coughs> Couldn't do nothing else, could I? Take a swipe of drool from your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> well, well let's hope same. it is drool. Is let's hope it is drool from her mouth. She is the same age as you, so she might have a job here as well. Oh, it's heavy. <coughs> I tell you what, if Kylie the nose turns up, she I can I think I've it. got a fish. Now it's gone light. It's heavy. 
I don't believe it. Is it a dogfish? I've got something that isn't a dogfish. Is it a starfish? <coughs> I've got Billy Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let me get my disgorger. Bring it back in a bit when I got it up. There we go. One small little bass. We've got a different species. That that's excited me. I'm right excited now, in a pet. Look at me. I'm buzzing, in a. Yeah, got a little tiny bass. I think that's my second one this year. So it's only a little schooly. It's what 28. 26. John will know if it's 26. I reckon it's a bit bigger, but let's go put that back. I'll put it in the bucket first. Yeah, he's in the bucket. He's recouping them, but now I've realised I've got to get him out of there. I'm going to get spiked in a pit. What we need is, what we need is, I'll tell you what we need. We need one of them little fishing nets that you pull all your fish out of in the aquarium. That's what we need, don't we, Dom? You're still reading that book? Is it good? Are you, are you still fishing? I am still fishing, yes, I am. Are you, what? Did you just swear? Get on with it, then. Let's get this bass book. Oh, it's going to get me into I know it's going to get me. I'm just to get another species back. Are you? Over the moon. I need them to get up there when I get. Come on, where are you? Whoa! I'm gonna get spiked. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use this towel. Didn't get me then. Didn't get me then. Got it in the towel. Towel's a bit wet. But yeah. Let's show you. Let's see it. I can see it there. He's had a breather. Let's put this here. So you can see me suck it back. when I get all drowned. No, you did it again, didn't you? Oh, God, hold you up, you fat lump. Charming, fat lump, now me. Because you're like bloody Kylie Minogue, aren't you? I'm younger than Kylie. Slinky, aren't you? Right, a six dogfish, I think. <laughs> Correct me in the comments if I've got that wrong. And, uh, oh. Waves just crashed over a lot. Tide must still be coming in. So, uh, on one thing it said half three, uh, quarter past three, and on your high tide thing it said seven minutes past four, didn't it? 
So we might get some different species now. But I think a six dogfish, let me know in the comments. And a small schooly bass, so I'll bring it back once I've uh, chucked this out. Right, let's get this cast out. Right. Right, let's get this bloody crab combo bait in, shall we? I might just put a squid on it. Dogfish on the shore, so it's another trip down. Not looking forward to this. Two on there. This big wave's coming up. I'm swimming 
over there now, it's actually swimming. Gone back now. Two, two come out. I went down to get one of them, chucked him in, and swam back, didn't he? Come out again. And then I saw another one wash up. So I've chucked them out, and they both swam around out, but one come in, but then he swam out. I thought he was going to get washed up again, but he ain't. They're gone now. Don't pull. I'm not pulling. No. Right, now pull. Got to use me peg. So we've got another dogfish here. And your little line's going... In the bucket. And uh, my little line's going. And it is going as well. Just don't look down there. I can't see another. They ain't gum up again. Right, I'm going to leave that dogfish there. See what's on this one. Because it could be another bass, couldn't it? Yeah, it's got a bite on there. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just quickly take this hook out. Well, that was caught on the crab down. Yeah. Going that rod still. Can't see anything, can you, though? The buggers they are, they swim back in. They get disorientated, you see. Yeah, I've got a bite on it. Right, is that filming? Right, let's get this in. This is a night, but in the nightmare. Of oh, course, I'm in an absolute beautiful beach, fishing in a beautiful county. And uh, I'm catching fish. And this is heavy. Oh, it's gone light now. You said that last time.
No, I got nothing down. Well, that's good. I ain't got to go down ever. Yeah. Well, I have. I've got to take that dog You've got to take the dog back. What? You got this dog fish? Yeah, I've got to take that back. Yeah, someone's had to go on the uh, bait again. So. Well, I've just got the one rod out of the minute. Right, let's quickly show you this dogfish. Just for those out there that haven't seen one before. And you, my boy, you're going to go back properly. So here we have it. Another dogfish. Beautiful eyes, look. <coughs> let's get that put back. I think that's seven dogfish now, is it gone? Cast out, I'm about buggered. Still squally down there, you know. Right, that's that one, eh? Well, the crab and squid had caught, it's got a had hound on it. So, not a hound, a dogfish, sorry. So, I think that's seven dogfish now and one schooly bass. Nice to catch schooly bass. I'm now going to bait this um, rig up again and uh, do an off the ground cast, hopefully. See in a bit. Well, absolutely cracking down there, isn't it? You can see uh, Budley Salton down there. See in a bit. I tell you what is nice, pet. We ain't smelt any bloody drugs, have we? No. Well, can't really smell anything anyway. Well, it's time yet. It's time yet. Well, that went dead straight, Pet, but I tell you now, I nearly fell over because I am shattered. Yeah. Put one of them away. You don't have to. And it isn't because of me hip. Well, it is because of me hip. But it's this, it's this shingle done. Just done it. Right, that cast, when I was uh, got it on the floor and was about to cast, I thought my hip hurts, uh, legs ache. And it's this shing shingle, it's knocked me for seven. I wondered whether it'd be too hard for me. Um, and I was bang on right, I knew it would be. But it's been so enjoyable. I've caught loads of fish. And yeah, I know they're all dogfish, but I've caught them. So I've just cast out there a squid, ah, for God's sake, squid and um, crab, bait elastic up, and even though I looked like a demented fool at the end of that cast, that cast went straight. Didn't go as far as 
the video you're going to watch tonight um, where I'm fishing with Tom at Chapel St Leonard's on Chapel Point but it's gone out plenty far enough to catch anything because it's quite deep water out there um, my flapper rigs that ain't gone out as far as that they uh, are catching and so is my sniper rod is on the on the boil it is so I'm now going to take some painkillers it's quite chuffed with that even though I was like a fool at the end it went straight I'm chuffed and it's plenty far enough oh. but yeah it's not necessary walking on this bit it's that slope if only I had someone here that would go put the fish back for me it'd be great she doesn't listen to me when she's looking at me, but when she's reading a book, she doesn't listen to me at all. So, I'm going to uh, take my painkillers now. You don't really want to know that, but that's what I'm going to do. And uh, hopefully sit down for a few minutes with no fish. So, uh, yeah, but what a great day and what a great session this has been. My only problem is that sloop on that beach, but it's a cracking beach to come and fish. Um, there's two people fishing down that end where all them rocks are that'd be really good but i couldn't walk all that way i've literally come at an angle from the car park so if anybody comes out of the car they tend to walk straight onto the beach throw some stones and then go so i am 20 30 yards probably 35 yards out of their way which has been good really so great beach come here and fish it Maybe there won't be as many dogfish as what there is today, but you might have other fish, mightn't you? I don't know what fish you catch here, apart from I've seen garfish and mackerel, um, dogfish, obviously I know that, and schooly bass. But it's all about being there, isn't it? At the mark. And, uh, taking in your surroundings and we've been blessed by the fact of there's no there isn't any rain touch wood sun's coming through again so we had sun at the beginning we've got the sun again now what are they cool cool them all so i take them down well i won't be rushing to the toilet in the morning put it that way We'll take three of them. Two paracetamol, three ibuprofen. Didn't take any painkillers yesterday either. I was struggling by the end of the day, but if I can get away without taking any painkillers, I do. Drunk that much water there, I might end up having to have a weed on. I'll just go weed down on the sea, which means I then got to go down that slope again. Right, I am totally. I, when I chucked them dogfish in, they just swam off. But at that moment in time, we had some huge big waves crashing. It must have been high water, and they were going over the top of that first bank down there, a shingle. Um, and they must have just been swimming along the getting their bearings and then that big wave just threw them up and when i went down there there was one there and i chucked him in and then i saw another one get washed up so it would have been the two dogfish that i chucked in um when i picked the dogfish up again and chucked the first one in again i then chucked the second one because the first one come out again with the same wave but they were still wiggling about and stuff. They're quite a hardy fish. They do take a little bit of uh, torture, I think, if you want to call it that. Um, oh no, it's going again. Oh, Jesus. I might have to put that rod away, Dom. 
Seems a that. shame, really. Here we are, pulling fishing after fish, and I'm thinking about putting them. I nearly didn't cast that last one out, though. But I thought I've only casted that rod once. Never saw a bite on it the whole time. Next fishing session, you might be moaning that you're not catching the Next fish. fishing session, darling, I'll be catch, pulling out another cod. Okay. Because I'm the Norfolk cod catcher. Okay. Cod king, you name it, I've been called it last year. Amongst other things, apart from cod, Norfolk cod catcher and Norfolk cod king, I've been probably called other things by some people. Definitely, I've got a bite on that one as well. I've got on two rods down. Yeah. Better pull one of them in then, don't they? I can't, don't. Can you reel them in? No. Why don't you take your box over there and sit down and do it? Well, that's two metres, darling. I think I can stumble two metres. Which rod did I just cast out, darling? I don't know. We weren't watching. I'm hoping that that middle one isn't the one I've just chucked out. If it is, I'm just going to chuck it out again. So we've caught on ragworm, we've caught on squid and crab. We've caught on ragworm, tipped with squid. Look at that sunday pet, it's absolutely glorious, isn't it? I've just got to, I've just got to sit down for a bit, but I can't. I've got a fish on that, bloody hell. What a luxury position I'm in, isn't it? Here I am, got fish on them rods, and I'm just buggered. <laughs> There's been times, all nine videos of them, which tonight's video is video number eight blank. Video number nine to be next week. They're the three that were in the water, aren't they? Yeah. Old pad of water's coming in, look. Making the most of it until waiting. He won't be able to do that after today, will he? For a little bit. <coughs> oh, I've got a fish on that, look. Oh. <laughs> Pet, you know when we get home, mm -hmm. because when we leave here, I'm then driving, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Well, when I get home, would it be all right if for this one time, I get in the house and I just get on the sofa with my feet up and put the telly on what while you make me a cup one, of, while you make me a time. cup of coffee? When was the other time you haven't done that? Well, I'm really buggered this time. So the rest of the time you've yeah. been taking No, I ain't. I'm buggered every day, though. I've had... Uh, someone's phoned me up and give me a job. I've got a full house to do. What do you mean someone's phoned up and give you a job? It's only a small job, they said. I said I'm on holiday at the minute, mate. Enjoying myself. Right, I'll bring you back when I reel these in. We did have a bite on this rod. It doesn't feel heavy though. Well, I've got something different now. How could that have a bite on like that? Looks like I've got a whiten. Any little down. Mm. 
haven't done this all any good. There you go. One small white and I shall go get that back all the way down to that. Right. Let me put it in the bucket. There you go. He's kicking. We'll give him a, we'll give him a breather, but he's floating a little bit. You know what white in the light. I'll go get him back because he might do better in the sea. Gills are going. He's got two choices. did have a bite on this middle rod, but I had to sit down and take some painkillers. Oh, the lines are crossed over now. Right, let me sort, sort these rods out. Um, and it's slack as well. And uh, I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, I'm in this predicament because I thought to myself, I'm not going to fall down here at all. And... Uh, my right foot went then and I went down. Uh, that's why my left leg is bent. Um, I've gone down because out of all these ragworm that have helped me catch all these fantastic fish today, I've got one monster left. And I was going down to give him his freedom, but I weren't going to put it on camera, but then I fell down. So I just asked the wife to bring a camera over. But yeah, I was going to take this one last ragworm left and I'm going to put him in the sea because they've caught me absolutely shed loads of fish. Um, I've had a fantastic day and I'm just going to use my squid from now on. Um, just going to use my squid from now on and hopefully it might slow down. Oh. Yeah. Right. Pet, bend that camera back, will you? When you fall down, always check your pockets to make sure you've got your keys. Because once they go in these stones, just bend it back. You pick them up. The, whole the light, the light, from the light. Yeah, that's it. Bend that back. Go on, bend it. Yeah, that's right. You're doing great. You haven't moved it yet. I'm... No, I'm moved. Move it. Bend it. Right. What a... Mind you, don't right. fall. Just level it up there. That's it. That leg, that's it. Brilliant. Top notch. Now bend it down a tiny bit. Do you know what, Ben? I'd be shagged without you here. I won't be doing so well. Aeroplane, first aeroplane. No, you don't fall in that water. fishing down there. Why have you set up up here so you've got because to walk up and down? I can't go ground cast there because it's built up behind me. Yes, I know what you're saying. But I 
wasn't expecting. What about making life hard for yourself? I wasn't expecting to catch any fish, was Quite a bloody zombie, isn't it? I haven't seen Sean yet. Just ran up that bit. Mm, I know it was. I'm over this side. Right. Yeah, she's got a point, hasn't she? I could have gone down there. But the thing is, the bank is... I thought I was going to be doing a lot more off the ground casting. I've only done two. <laughs> but it is what it is, isn't it? I think I'm going to retire this snoke rod now. Uh, I've run out of ragworm. Ragworm has gone. The last big bugger put him in the water and he went swimming around on the top and then went down. So hopefully he'll get in the shingle. Uh, he might make a life for himself. If he don't, it's helped him the ecosystem ain't it so I've got two rods out I think I might have a fish on the right one I don't know um, but yeah I'll bring the right hand one in first which is the furthest one I cast today so that one there so that's probably my panel rig one they both went about the same distance really it weren't a very good off the ground cast as you saw, because it was a bit... I nearly fell over, didn't I? Uh, I just need... I'm perfectly all right fishing, as long as I can sit down a lot. So, uh, I'm afraid today, it's been an absolute monster session for catching. Don't matter what fish they are, don't really matter. They're all pretty fish. They've all got different markings as well, so... It is what it is. It's been a good catching day. I think it's seven, isn't it, Dan? So. so seven, seven uh, dogfish, one scully bass, and a pin whiten. Now the pin whiten was belly up in the bucket. I chucked him in the water, and he was belly up. And then he kicked his tail and went down. Come back up, kicked again, went down, and never saw him again. So. There is a lot more oxygen in that water than there is in that bucket now. That bucket needs changing, but I can't go down there to do it. If it was a flat beach, I'd go and change the water, I always do, um, and refresh it. But there'll still be oxygen in that water, it's just that it's got um, other fish in there that have been bleeding, so it's dirty water, isn't it, really? And in that span of water that's out there, that you can see, yeah, it's dirty. It'll have dirt in it, won't it? But get that on there. Do that up. Right, yeah, right, there you go. There you have it. Anyhow, he's gone. So that's, uh, how many dogfish? Seven? Well, anyhow, please leave a comment in... John will, I know John will, Andrew might, uh, but if people can leave a comment how many dogfish it is, as a matter of fact Andrew has counted my fish before, so if, if anybody can just count my fish and just let me know what it is that'll be great, but at the minute I think it's seven dogfish, um, eight for a bass and nine was the pin whiting. See you in a bit. All right, let's get this reeled in. It's going to be a long video, this is. I've got more fish down. What fish have you got? Is it 
was a bite. I've got two nice white in that. Right, let's get these off and get them in this bucket. What a cracking. What a cracking session it's been, eh? bloody eye again. Jesus Christ. They see it, don't they? Right. Just gorge There you go. Two more waiting. So, that's two to twice now. The bloody white and the hook's gone in its eye. I feel bad about that, but it's not a lot you can do about it apart from not fish. And uh, I enjoy my fishing, so I'm going to do that in there. Right, they're off. They're kicking about in there, so they should be okay. What I'm going to do is, I'm not going to film myself falling down there. I'm gonna get these straight down and out. Um, one's gonna have headache for a little bit. But that eye will sort itself out. He'll still got one eye, they live like that. Um, it's a case of having to, isn't it? So that's uh, seven dogs, three whiten, and a uh, schoolie bass, so. Yeah, I can't moan at all. It's been a fantastic session. I'm gonna get these put back, um, and then I'm gonna put that rod away and uh, just watch the last rod, which is the uh, pulley panel. See you in a bit. One whiten. Two whiten. Thought I'd show them, show all my fish. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, let's get this last rod in. I'm about buggered. Uh, those two whiten. Those two whiten have gone back. Um, both floated, then one decided to kick off. The other one was kicking and floating, kicking and floating. I haven't seen it on the beach, but when I go back down there to do a final sweep, I'll check if it's gone. Heavy. Well, you know that whiten? That seagull's just picked it up. No, oh, is he? Yeah. It's not gone to waste, is it? Bloody hell, this is heavy. Well, you won't believe this, pet. What? I've got a double look at it. Not whiten. Have a guess. Whiten? No. Dogfish? Two dogfish on a pen look. Nearly fell over then. <laughs> there we go. Two dogfish. Look how well they're uh, hooked up on that. I 
can't even see them. Right, let's get this one. That's one off. Put him over there. Out of the way of the hook. This one's on a circle hook. Brilliant. What a sandy coloured dogfish. Let's get them in the bucket. Yeah, give each other a kiss. Well, you can't moan about that, can you? We've had fish on most cut reelings and we finish off with a double hookup. So on the other rod I had two white and on this one we've got two dogfish. Right, Don, what I need you to do, hun, is come here and press that button when I ask you to press it so I can return these fish, yeah? Come on. I'm going to tap down in the bucket, I think. Because it'll be easier and I can just chuck the water out. <coughs> so, hang on, is that on there? Is that up just on low? Flashing on the first one. On the first one. Well, first but one, isn't it? Mm. Right. Here we go. All been different colours, but yeah, another dogfish there. As a matter of fact, these two could be brothers because they're exactly the same. And that's the second one. So it's a double hook up on the last reeling. I'm gonna return these. Oh, I can do it now, Dom, because I've done one at a time, sorry. I'm gonna return these now. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and I'm gonna say sayonara. Right. Well, what an absolutely fantastic day this has been. It's been absolutely lovely here at Budlington Salterton. Um, the weather's been overcast, but the sun's been out at the beginning and towards the end. And it's been really good. It's really been enjoyable. Fishing-wise, I haven't caught so many fish for since probably two summers ago when I was on the Oldness Coast catching hounds and dogfish and rays and all sorts. I think in one of them sessions I had 16 fish. Um, that, that summer was an absolute blinder. Summit to cherish forever, but today I've caught no end of fish. I've caught, I believe, check it in the comments for me, nine dogfish, um, three white and, and schooly bass. So that's what, 10, 11, 12. Was it, is that right? Nine, I was on seven, eight, nine. Three, 12, 13 fish in it. So I think I've had 13 fish. Check it in the comments if, and let me know. Um, I'll try and add it up as I watch it back before it goes live as well. But yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. It's good company with the wife. It's been a lovely day to be on the beach in October. Um, date is October the 25th. Um, it's been fantastic. The most dogfish I've ever caught in a session as well. So there you go. And my first dogfish this year all nine of them so it's been brilliant the last reeling on the sniper rod was a small pin white and he swam off the next kenzaki big kenzaki was a double hook up of two white and one swam off and one didn't but i saw big seagull who's just down there now pick the white and up out of the water got it on the beach and ate it so nothing goes to waste in waste in this game and then on this rod the last reeling, I had another double hookup of two hounds, of two hounds, <laughs> two dogfish. So yeah. So this has been Budley, but Budley Salterton, isn't it? I've said many times, Ram. I'm getting tired now. 
And uh, before anyone say why don't I set up down there, because it's too steep for me to do an off the ground cast. Now I only did two, but I was planning on doing a lot more. But it was frantic. It was all go on the flapper rigs. It's been a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you, Jimmy, for giving me the opportunity to come down here in Devon and fish and for the use of your, your uh, chalet. It's much appreciated, mate, and uh, me and the wife thank you very much. So, without anything else to say, it's... Oh, yeah, it's me first. And say it loud, down so people can hear. <laughs> it's good night... It... It's good night from me. There you have it. We got it after a letter now. It only took three years, but yeah. Oh, she's still running on. Anyhow, I'll see you and on. I believe I can fly. Bloody wish you